Welcome to this video. I'm going to look at creating images using ChatGPT's new image creation tool. Now, there's a lot going on in the world at the moment when it comes to using this tool. As you'll seen from previous videos, you can do the Studio Ghibli style, but there's so much more to it that a lot of people don't realize. So let's have a look at how we can create some image by using other images as reference images. And what I was thinking was, I was sitting at my desk thinking, should I try this and see if I can combine images together? So I could take a reference image and then say, can you recreate this and put this in its place? So if you look at the screen, you'll see I've got here, I've uploaded a picture and this picture is of some books on a shelf. And then I've uploaded a copy of my book called Microcourse Profits and its cover. And I've asked the create image, which is down here and it's now visible on the search bar to recreate the photo, but replace the book cover with the cover of my book. And so it has happily done that quite successfully. So I thought, okay, this is great because where this comes in really handy is when you're creating sales tools and ads and things like that. So you might want to do mock-ups. Now you can pay for a mock-up tool, but if you can do it in ChatGPT, why not do it in ChatGPT? All you need to do is find some background images and you can use a whole range of stock images to do that. In this case, I've just used some random images from the web, but it's a good example. So the second one I found was this guy reading a book. So I thought, let's try it again. So recreate this image using my book. And hey presto, he's now reading the cover of my book. Now it's not perfect, but you can see straight away from the original reference image, the bars on the spine of the book, and the back is blank, but it got the cover on there. And that's the main thing. Because in the end, if this is just an ad, I'm gonna put text over the top and all sorts of things. And that then prompted me to think, what about putting text over the top? What can I do there? So I found a blank book launch type poster. And I thought, can I recreate this poster by combining it with my images that I've already uploaded? So I choose to create image and I write recreate this poster with my name and book. My website is mrwebmarketing.com, which is my website. And we got this back which isn't perfect because you can see the cover's only halfway and it says book launch. But if we look back to our original one, it said book name. So I can see how I got a little confused, but all together, it says Monday time. It's got my name. It's got my website. Everything on here is actually pretty good. So I've managed to create this nice poster. The only thing is that's not me. So why not stretch it a little bit further? Let's face it. If you can't have fun cracking tool, what good is it? So I took an image of myself here and I said, please replace the person with my image and fix the book so it just shows the full cover. Remember, we've got the cover cut off there. I had a little bit of a problem with the generation. That normally means that I've done too many images in a short amount of time. Generally about three is the maximum you can do and then you need to give it a break. But I came back and hey presto, it fixed the cover. It's not perfect, but it did fix the cover. And it put an image of someone who looks like me, but it's not me. Okay, getting a bit carried away, it's creating a new me, but yeah, we're all learning and so is it. The other thing was that down the bottom here, it says WVM, mrwebmarketing.com. So I said, fix the web URL and gave it the right one. And it's now not fixed. So sometimes you have some wins and sometimes you have some losses. So you got to expect that there's not much you can do about it. And you may notice that it's actually changed the color of the book cover. The book cover was black and now it's blue. So I think it's one of those things, the more you go down the rabbit hole, the more it changes things. So you need to probably get your instructions right in the first place before you come back and fix things. I think every time you fix it, you almost start from the beginning again. So anyway, let's go a little bit further down the rabbit hole. I found this image of Michelle Obama's book in a bookstore and I thought, oh, it'd look good if my book was sitting there in that bookstore. So I said, recreate the image, but replace the three main books sitting on the top with my book. And it came back with this one. Now you'll notice it's added a kind of me onto the covers. That wasn't what I asked for. So I wrote, remove the image of me off the cover and keep the cover original. So I did, and look, here we go. That's pretty close to the original cover. 
and there's a couple of other copies underneath. Hey presto, I now have an image of my book sitting in a bookstore. It's not perfect because the original books were much thicker than my book, so it gives it a slightly different effect. But, interesting experiment, and you can play with that one yourself. So, I decided to keep going down the rabbit hole, and I said, create cut out of me and place me on top of the stage. Resize me to fit the perspective. So I put two images in here, one of this stage and one of me pointing towards one of my other books, Run Towards the Flames. And it came up with this image, which is great. But not me. So again, it's recreated me. It's close. The suits, the cut's right. The cover's slightly different. And I'm standing on the floor, not on the stage. So I got to say, it's actually not too bad, but it's not me. And I could have just done taking that picture and actually dropped the background out of it on Canva and put myself in exactly like this. So didn't really achieve what I was after. So I've written, you have changed me. Use my original photo, place me on the stage, not next to it. So well, I'll have another go. So we ended up with this one. And... It's still not me. So, I don't know. Maybe I need to cut myself out first and just tell it to use the cutout picture. But it really... It's like me, but it's not me. But anyway. Lastly, I uploaded this and wrote, cut me out of the background. Because I thought, let's see what it does. If it just cuts me out, rather than doing other steps. And... Yeah, that's not me either. So it didn't cut me out. It actually recreated me. So understand that this tool isn't always going to work the way you expected it to do. But that is part of the learning. And no doubt over the next couple of weeks, I will work out how to actually just cut myself out. And maybe I haven't used create image here, you'll notice. I've just told it to cut me out of the background. And yeah, look, it has cut out the person. And it does look like me. But it's definitely not me. That's not my face. So I'm going to work on that and see if I can do it. So the last one is I've got create image. Recreate the image of the bookstore. So this is the bookstore here, which is one that I just grabbed online. I'm not going to use this in any way. And replace some of the books on the shelves with the two attached book cover images. So there's my new book that I'm working on. And here's the one that I just finished. And here's what we got. So this one's not too bad. Obviously the books are much thicker because you can see the depth in that book there and there. But here's Microcourse Profits, AI Inspire, Marketing Inspire, Amplified, Inspired, Implied. What did I call it? Hang on. Why, what is it writing there? Okay. Simplified. Okay, let's just check to see what it's written because that doesn't read as simplified. Mm, it's close to simplified. Looks like, yeah. So a bit of misspelling going on there. The S is joined up. I wonder if it's having trouble reading it. But on the other hand, it's not a bad image. The books are on the shelves as I asked. And when we look at the original, these books are quite thick books that are sitting there. So it's not a not an exact match, it's a very close match because it's recreated it. So that brings me to the end of this video and this experiment. And what I encourage you to do is try this out. Start with something simple, like at the top here, recreate the photo, but replace the book cover or something like that, or change the color of the ball. Try that, see what results you get, and then have a bit more play. Go to something a little bit more in depth, a little bit more things to do for the AI to do. Like this sort of thing is actually quite complex. There's a lot going on in this picture and see how you go. And if you have any questions or you're having fun doing this and you've created some good images, let me know in the comments below. Please can subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.